So today we are talking about one of the most imperative tools I feel that people have um, that really they don't take advantage of is credit. Welcome to Wealth Matters Saturday. I am Denise Hadnot, and I have a very special guest with me today, Miss Karina Simon with Go Deluxe Financial. Welcome, Karina. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> you are very welcome. Um, first off, if you don't mind, just tell us a little bit about you and Go yeah. Deluxe Financial. Awesome. So thank you for the introduction. Um, I am the owner of Go Deluxe Financial, and I'm also a credit educator. Um, licensed uh, credit specialist or certified credit specialist. And uh, Go Deluxe Financial, we pretty much offer credit restoration services as well as credit counseling. We are registered and bonded um, in the state of Texas, uh, which is a, a key thing in compliance in this industry. Yes, and is. we help our clients for the most part get prepared for home ownership, um, clear up challenges with their credit, answer any questions they may have, and just help them overall achieve their goals. So I'm happy Good. to be here. Well, here's the thing, you know, right now it's homeowner, homeowner, it's homeowner season. Right now mm -hmm. it's time people are ready to go and purchase homes right now. Um, being in real estate for, for so long, that's like one of the main things that people have problems with mm -hmm. is their credit. Yes. They, um, a lot of times don't understand their credit. They don't know, um, haven't seen their credit. Right. Um, just have no idea of like, yep. like where to even start. Yes. So today, let's kind of talk about um, the steps to prepare your credit mm -hmm. for home ownership. Yeah. So I'll let you kind of just kind of chime in about the steps to prepare your credit. Sure. So you hit the nail on the head as it relates to many people just kind of being out of the loop and not understanding where their true credit position sits. Mm -hmm. um, and then sometimes people begin that that pre-approval or that initial process and, and get, you know, a rude awakening. So uh, the first step for me is always to pull your credit, um, credit reports. Number one, you can always do annualcreditreport.com uh, because, of course, that's going to list all of the data on your three major credit reports. Right. It will not provide you the score, though. However, um, due to the pandemic, we have been able to pull our annual credit reports once a week instead of once a year. Now, last I was on the website, it was until April, 2021. And I'm on that website often for our clients. Um, that date may have been extended, but you still have some time if you wanna pull that. So that will be step one. If you are preparing for home ownership, you definitely want to go to myfico.com to see your mortgage FICO score. That is gonna vary drastically. <laughs> and I don't mean that in a scary way, but it is a very different score then the score you're gonna see when you're checking your Credit Karma, Credit Sesame, Credit Wise, and all these other platforms, right? right? Um, there are different versions. So that was versions. something I was just about to ask you about. Mm -hmm. That was yep. something I was gonna ask you about. So are you saying people shouldn't get, put, shouldn't go to Credit Karma when they're trying to buy a house? Because Don't. I have found that people, mm -hmm. when they when they call, they're like, well, I see my credit score. Where did you see it? Credit Karma? Mm -mm. And they run with that score and they're like, my score is a 680. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, you you nailed it. I, and I say jokingly, you know, the clients, Credit Karma is not your friend. Credit Karma is the friend that tells you you, you look okay when you look a little messed up, right? And you maybe right. should change. Right. <laughs> they dress it up nice. Um, and no, I'm not going to say cre Credit Karma. It's not a fake score. It is a version of it, but it's not the version that lenders are looking at. So um, lenders use FICO scores versions two, four, and five. The right. only place to see the, the mortgage FICO score that a lender will use to assess you is on myfico.com. That's the only place you can see your mortgage score without having your credit pool. So Credit Karma, also Credit Karma is free because it's limited data mm -hmm. and they only pull data from two bureaus, Equifax and TransUnion. And then after, what is it, March 30th, March 31st, they will no longer be pulling from Equifax. It'll just be TransUnion. So they're really? only, or, or one or the other, they're switching it, but basically they're only going to be pulling data from one bureau starting April onward. Whereas yeah, um, as of now, it's just two. You just mentioned about um, Equifax and TransUnion. That's something that, I mean, it, it's it's something that we know, but it's, it's kind of under the credit basics, but some people don't realize that there are three credit bureaus. So yes. 
TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. Those are the major three credit bureaus, also known as credit reporting agencies. Um, there are some others, uh, but they do not generate a score. They definitely house data, but they don't generate a score. And okay. I do want to add that credit bureaus or credit reporting agencies, all they truly are, they are privately owned for-profit data companies. Absolutely. They're not federal companies. They're not a part of, there are federal regulations, right, surrounding, you know, their practices and things like that. But these are not government-owned entities. <laughs> They're right. private, private companies. Yeah. So one other question. Um, when mortgage lenders look at the credit report, what mm -hmm. are some red flags that people need to be aware of? Yes, I love that question. So red flags would be anything delinquent or outstanding that you have not cleared up, whether it has been sent to collections yet and reflects as such on the report or not. So right. if you have, um, and I really like to use collections because this is m most common. If you have an account in collections or several accounts in collections and you are choosing to not pay them, okay, mm -hmm. Um, and that's your prerogative. <laughs> but if you're choosing to not pay them and you want to buy a home, it's going to come up in the underwriting process. And typically they're going to send you what's called a LOX, a letter of explanation, asking you to explain in detail, A, what is this outstanding debt? And I'm summarizing, but what are you doing to clear it up? You want to be proactive and be on the front side of that and have the ball in your court before you even get in that mess. <laughs> right. And if before you don't they... want to pay it, don't call a realtor. Don't yes, call yes. a realtor. <laughs> I'm ready to buy. If you don't want to pay your bills. Yeah. Okay. I'll yep. let you finish. So, and, that, and that's really, really key because I, I'll break it down this way, just very short and sweet. In the event uh, you're trying to, you're in this window and you need to clear up some of these debts and you're going to have to settle, right? Or negotiate a pay for deletion or what have you. You would rather do that when the ball is in your court and you have the time to prepare financially for it or what have you versus be in the middle of trying to purchase a home and the lender is like, well, in order to close, you need to pay off this $3,000 medical bill. Now you're in crunch time. Now it's right. like, I have 30 days, you know what I mean? Where, right. Whereas you could have addressed this earlier in the year or well, well before you started that process. So that that's a, another good question. Mm -hmm. How far in advance do you think people should actually start looking at their credit report when they yeah. know they want to purchase a house? Yep, I love that. So two part, one, you should be monitoring your credit at minimum once a month. And that's just standard. Um, you know, folks, most folks are a little more advantageous, maybe weekly or what have you, because your scores fluctuate, but at least once a month, you want to know what's going on. Right. Um, as it relates to preparing for home ownership, definitely I would say, give yourself 12 months. Now I'm not saying if you don't give yourself a year, you know, then the odds are few. However, how could I explain this? Um, nicely. Just because you are trying to reach a certain goal in three months doesn't mean that that's how long that process is going to take. Right. Because there's a rep there's a process and a flow and there are um, regulations surrounding the time that a credit bureau has to review disputes in the credit repair process. So th the sweet way I can say it is that process isn't expedited just because you're in a hurry. <laughs> so, well, you know, <laughs> something I used to say to people when they, you know, as far as their credit and their time frame. Mm -hmm. Your credit didn't get messed up overnight. That part. So <laughs> it's not going to just improve overnight. It takes time. Yeah, and you know, and, I, and I'll speak to I know there's a lot of misinformation out there. And I know that there is a narrative with certain credit repair companies or, you know, the marketing. And I know that it gives this false sense of credit repair should be this quick overnight thing. And I'm just here to let folks know that there are compliance standards surrounding it. And if someone is guaranteeing you, A, it's illegal to guarantee an outcome through credit repair, that's illegal. B, if someone is guaranteeing you anything, let alone something in 30 days or less or guaranteeing a collection removal in 48 hours, 10 times out of 10, the measure that they're taking to feel they can guarantee that is illegal. And the second part of that is that's not a true deletion. There's a thing called suppressing an account. So there's a lot of back end crazy stuff that people do, but it promotes this narrative that credit repair right. is overnight and it's not. <laughs> right. Right. And that's how a lot of people will choose who they work with because they'll yeah. think, oh, well, this person, they can go ahead and get it done within a couple of days. I'm going to go yeah. ahead and spend the money and go there. Yeah. So you have to win it. Right. And, and to that point, but then when that item comes right back on the report in a couple of weeks or when you're about to close and you're like, I paid somebody a thousand dollars because right. they do it in 48 and hours. I don't think a lot of people realize that can happen. Yep. 
Yeah, yeah it absolutely it, can, it, happen. It can happen. Yeah, especially if the method or the approach was non-compliant with the true process of credit repair. If someone did, I'm just going to say something janky, right? It wasn't really a de deletion to begin with. So that's right. why once the bureaus recognize that they put it right back on your report. And typically that happens at very inconvenient times, like when you're trying to close on a house. <laughs> right, right. So that's why yeah. people should find someone like you that's certified. Yeah. Yeah, um, and you have the knowledge, and you don't mind educating people so they mm -hmm. understand. Yes, you know what it takes. So, yeah. where can people find you if they're looking to yeah. purchase a home and they want to start this? You know, making sure that their credit is right. Because yeah, at Wealth Battle Saturdays, I like to tell people uh, this is where you come to get the knowledge to get ready. Yep. So you don't have to. You know, you need to stay ready so you don't have. So to you don't ready. have to get. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, so go ahead and be I, I always welcome people to visit, of course, visit our website, www.godeluxefinancial, and that's G-O-D-E-L-U-X-E financial.com. Um, and pretty much schedule a free consultation. So um, you can schedule a free 15 minute consultation. We can speak, kind of learn about your goals, some of the challenges you've been experiencing. We can talk through our services and how we can assist. Um, you know, and if it's something you're looking forward to, to moving on with in the call, cool. And if not, you're welcome to follow back up whenever you're ready. So that's that's the best way to get in contact with, with us is to schedule that consultation on our website. Okay. Yeah. Well, Karina, I really do appreciate you joining today. Thank and you. Uh, I look forward to us talking more because there's a lot about credit. It's a lot that I think, you know, definitely we can get into. So yes. thank you again. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me and I appreciate it. Nope.